Part one, white clouds, great tree moon, three houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Vodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. A baile no le hace mucha, mucha gracia el tema este. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. The flow of time bring you here. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. Uh... You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Yeah. Lady Ray. Arzobispa. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Chen. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Jeremy. I wonder. Was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. My condolences. As for you... I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. 
Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. <laughs> back into the Knights of Seros. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid you're... Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently, that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. Ma. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Yeah, fine. I'll help, but... I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. As you, I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the... I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's... <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each. Do you really not know? Fine. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students. Each of the Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next king of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next emperor king and sovereign duke are all here it certainly is a promising year for the academy i'll say i just hope none of those little treasures hmm. quite for now i suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings and when you have a moment please stop by my research laboratory the old man has a point oh and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that book. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow. But that should get you going. Good luck. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Gerald character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider... Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. Y en vez de las conspiraciones, ¿no? 
I am increasingly concerned about them. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. Lady Rhea. Exploración. Controles durante la fase de exploración. Monasterio. Palanca de control derecha. Bueno, esto es el tutorial de cómo movernos por aquí. Tu primera tarea. Me imagino que ya estás al tanto de que vas a impartir clases en la Academia de Oficiales. ¿No es así? Para empezar, te recomiendo que hables con los delegados de cada casa y que le des paseo por la academia para familiarizarte con tu nuevo hogar. Cuando termine, ven a hablar conmigo. Ver petición. El arzobispo sugiere que hable con los tres delegados de clase para informar sobre, formarme sobre los estudiantes de cada casa. Estarán en la sala de recepciones y los aledaños de la academia de oficiales. Primer nivel del monasterio. Aceptamos porque si no Lady Rea, pues nos arrea. Entonces, pues, vamos allá. Eh, 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 eh. Vale, esas son las tareas. Vale. Aquí está esta gente. El set de este no, no le caigo muy bien. Así que. Ah, hay que marcar en la flechita. Mini Pampa, vale, sí, ahora estamos consultando el mini mapa. Mucha gente aquí, eh. ¿Sí? Ahí está, Edelgar. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black claro. Eagles? Hubert este, Hubert este no, no. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. 
You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. No, for now, no, they don't want to get that. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Ayo, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly no, interest him, and nothing else. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. No, I don't know, man. No, I don't know, man. No, I don't know, man. No, I don't know. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. No, it's pretty complete, huh? No, se puede pasar por aquí. Está el pavo ese con el escudote. Por aquí tampoco. Vale, vale, vale. Bien. Yeah. Aquí está Cloud. scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk, I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not at, have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know no. more about anyone? I guess it's a team. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so <laughs> learning about each other. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. What do you think? Okay. Dimitri. Right, right. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Hello. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. I don't know, 
He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. I appreciate your effort. Petición completada, obtienes una espada de hierro y una poción. Ah, mira que bien, podemos procurar a la audiencia directamente sin hacer todo el, el paseo. ¿Cómo estás enjoyando tu tiempo en la Academia de esta forma? Espero que hayas encontrado nuestras salas brimando con la vitalidad. Supongo que es hora de que te tomes la charge de uno de nuestros tres casas de estudio. Tengo que anotar que estoy personalmente en contra de encontrar a alguien que tenga una intractable historia como tú con tal tarea. Los Black Eagles, los Blue Lions y los Golden Deer son todos tan diferentes. Espero que hayas hecho un punto para conocer a cada uno de ellos. Desde que tú eres nuevo aquí, hemos decidido que te permitas la primera pick. Oh, serán mis rivales luego estos. Hemos dicho que íbamos con Edelgar. Y vamos a ir con ella. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care... They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you... Brother? Oh! I am so sincerely sorry! I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly... This is our newest professor at the academy. Qué mal educada, oh, wow. ¿no? A new addition to the officers' academy. I am so very pleased to meet you, professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is some. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of oh. the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Bueno, simulacro. Se estaba de estar guapo. Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Tienes gran cabezón. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has a gut. That's a big thing from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you and high hopes. But I'm certain. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of. Um. Well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. 
Let's stay in the classroom and... Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Madre mía, vaya equipo. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Uh, they're not normally this rowdy. I do hope you can manage, Professor. Efectos del terreno. Ciertos tipos de terreno tienen efectos sobre los atributos de la unidad. Por ejemplo, los bosques aumentan la esquiva y la defensa. Procura situar la unidad. Esto nos lo habían dicho antes. Ah, vale, está. Bueno, se ponen las. Mientras carga ahora la... los consejos. Pues vamos a ver. Si empezamos entrenando. Ok. Ya puedes ir a nuevos lugares del monasterio. Vale. La iglesia de Seyus te ha abonado 1000 M para financiar las actividades de este mes. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first... They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They ex those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then. Please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How? <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may... I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps what in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree. Trio... Pues no me fío mucho de a ver, vamos al 27. ¿Qué hay chicha? Cada uno de los profesores de la academia recibe una lección para todo el mes. El monasterio organiza diversos eventos y actividades. Cada semana dispondrás de un día libre en el que te podrás elegir una actividad a la lista. Al principio la única disponible será explorar. Selecciona el calendario con los dos dirección para resultar actividades programadas a las fechas elegidas.
Batalla entre las tres casas. Cumpleaños de Ferdinand. el tono porque el tono es el de el de Fire Emblem de la cancioncita bueno pues el talón de anuncios es donde organiza todo el calendario esta es mi, mi habitación ahí está setes eh, me molaría porque todavía no los conozco muy bien que marcarán quiénes son los de mi casa. Supongo que sí que lo hace, ¿eh? no va a entrar en los dormitorios mira el gatillo I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice I can beat anyone professor even you if I have to it may have been only for a short time but I learned from the absolute best There's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Me ha aconsejado que invite a alguien a comer, insiste que, que me fije bien en qué hora de gusta. Uf. Uy, pereza, chaval, no, no, no me. No me apetece la idea. Bernadette y estanque. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for nap. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. <laughs> Did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse, there are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home. And herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to make medicine and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe some. I'm not talking about it. No. Ooh. Eh. Habla con el delegado de tu clase. Y esta azul. Bernardetta. Estás asalada. Oh, 
corremos. Perfecto. Hasta aquí ya del gar. Some believe the dignity of the empire rests on the results of the mock battle. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. You should take your time when speaking with everyone. But when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. Algunas actividades del monasterio consumen puntos de actividad. Si la agotas todos, no será posible llevar a cabo más actividades. Pero debo seguir explorando todo el rato que te apetezca. Si, dejas... si quieres dejar de explorar, pulsa L para cursar la luna y pasar a la siguiente jornada. Pues. Pasa el tiempo, eh. Ah, mira, me marca cada uno. Y dónde están mis aposentos. Buah, ya me he perdido. Nos hemos perdido. Pasamos al día del entreno. Simulacro. Es el cumpleaños de Ferdinand. Ferdinand es el rubio este de mi equipo que dicen que, que desafía a Edelgar siempre, ¿no? Me parece. ¿Quieres gastar 200 en flores para celebrarlo? Pff, hombre, flores. No sé. Venga, va. Vamos a ver. A ver, el detalle, bueno, ya está. Vamos, misión. La batalla de las tres casas. Para sorpresa generalizada, un joven mercenario ha sido elegido para dar clase en la academia oficial. Esto, esto es lo mío. Eh, Asencia en la batalla de las tres casas. Esto no sé. Supongo que aquí los que caen en esta batalla no. Vamos a ver un archivo de cosas. ¿no? no caen directamente, o sea, no mueren. Como ponían al principio. Bueno, ese, ese consejo. Muy visto, ¿no?